Shalom, giving all praise and, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash, and Dabalan also the Allah Apostles, Allah Bishops, and Brothers on Dung and Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole field. Like this is your brother I, Banyamian, here to share another lesson. And I uh, haven't figured out a title for this lesson yet, but as per the ABC Action News, you'll see the title of the video. It says, uh, Florida inmate charged for prison cells long after uh, incarceration. Now, the scriptures tell us to speak in the ears of all people, the words of, um, of prophecy, and to warn them. Now, this is something that you would expect to happen to Jake. Uh, I'm not sure that the person being interviewed, it looks like a, a Jake woman, but I'm not sure. I'll play it in a few minutes. This is why, you know, we warn you and we tell you all that uh, you are the Israelites. Right, those that believe in this word, those that believe in the teaching of this word, authorized by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And with knowing these things, you understand the conditions uh, that you're in. You understand the things that is happening in your life <clears throat> is not by happen uh, stance. It is, it is prophesied by our Lord because of our disobedience and our and part of our uh, punishment. Alright, so the first portion of scripture I want to share before I get into the video is in uh, the book of Second Ezra. Because no one else is going to tell you the truth of these things. Uh, chapter 15 and verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, you Israelites, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So these are not my words. I'm not making these things up. You understand? Prophecy is speaking. You know, the, the words of men, right, uh, could be delayed, right, could be false. You know what I'm saying? Could be manipulated. But the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is true. So he plays the Holy Spirit upon brothers to come and do these videos and to stand up on the highways and the byways in fear and in truth and sincerity to bring the word out. So this is what I am doing. This is what we are doing. We, we are speaking in your ears. Those that have ears to hear are listening the words of prophecy. And what prophecy is that? Right? And most I said that, you know, we would be subject to payments. Grab that, uh, And you could also read the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Uh, half of it is the blessings that we will receive for obeying and honoring and fearing Yahweh and the other half is the curses that would follow, right? We would, we would uh, sow, but others will reap our benefits, right? But we we'll can till the land, you know? Uh, but others would receive the, the reward. Uh, so this is a uh, Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. Alright, so the Most High has scattered us through slavery in these different lands. Right? Trinidad, Jamaica, the Americas, uh, Babylon. Uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Argentina, Colombia, uh, pretty much in the north, right? North America and the surrounding areas. We have brothers and sisters also in England, the UK, so on and so forth, right? For a reproach and a curse, right? We are reproached people, we are scorned people, we are, are a disliked people, all right? And a curse, you understand? A curse that, one curse that um, is prevailing over people is the curse of um, unhealthiness, obesity, a heart attack, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, what's that on um, stroke, uh, diabetes, right, financial ruin. One minute you may have and then all of a sudden something come up 
where you have to put almost or all your funds into remedying one effort. Alright? So it's like a seesaw up and down, up and down, up and down, rather than a straight line or ups of greatness all the time. You know what I'm saying? We don't have that as a nation of people. Uh, and to be subject to payments, right? Always paying some bill. Something always coming up. Just when you think you have a relief, all your bills are paid or whatever. Something out of the blue come out. Or someone come out of the woodwork to ask for money, right? Subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers. And we are our fathers in the reincarnation coming back, right? Which departed from the lord our god right so those of us that depart from the lord through iniquity and sin these things uh, fall upon us as a nation all right so i'll get into the video but before i get into the video uh this is a uh, youtube my channel is not uh funded i have no advertisement on my channel there is i'm not receiving um payments on my channel so this is the copyright disclaimer it says copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act of 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes of criticism comment news reporting i'm reporting the news uh teaching scholarship education and research fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing so law will then the lesson be edifying onto the leg so here we go our main story tonight involves a common saying you do the crime you do the time but when people are released from prison it marks the start of new hardships impacting local families and communities and new tonight i-team investigator kylie mcgivern digs into a florida law many don't even know about it's called pay to stay charging inmates like shelby hoffman for their prison sentence even if they're released early and regardless of their ability to pay I work 12-hour shifts, so they're 7 to 7. Hoffman is part of TGH Crystal. I thought it was either my woman, but she might be the Jake woman. So who filled the, the prisons uh, in American society? It's predominantly Jake's, the men, you know what I'm saying? But she looks like uh, she looks like a Eve, you know? Rivers clinical staff. So prophecy is speaking. Uh, the healthcare field has always been you know, of great interest to me. She's worked to get to where she's at, but once more, she's on track to earn her bachelor's degree. So I want to see this on the side. You're going to have a lot of uh, jigs that will come looking like um, these either masks. You see the, the tag, the ID tag, employee ID tag. She looked like a, you know, a either woman, you know? So a lot of jigs is going to come looking like the other nations. And that goes against the black, the black only uh, Israelite um, uh, doctrine, right? They're gonna come looking like the other nations, but it's the spirit, right? The spirit bear witness that we are the children of Yahweh Shem This year, my desirable goal is to work uh, in case management. Um, you know, as somebody who is in recovery, uh, doing case management is my way of being a part of the solution and now you know where i'm at today i am truly being stopped by one single barrier and it is a dollar sign the state of florida had what is called an exemption from disqualification and they told me that um you are not eligible because you owe over one hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars for an incarceration fee from the state of florida what was your reaction i cried i was hysterically crying I literally felt like my entire past just punched me in the face. When I was 13, uh, my parents split up. So it caused, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of dysfunction, a lot of misdirection in the household. So I found a boyfriend that unfortunately got me hooked on opiates. You know, snorting them, smoking them, and then eventually, you know, I started shooting them. And this was all while you were a teenager. So, yeah, what she said, she found a boyfriend that got hooked on that. I wouldn't doubt that that boyfriend was an Edomite um, person. Yes. After turning 18, Hoffman was charged with a third-degree felony. 
I had pawned something that, um, you know, was stolen. Then a burglary charge. Both of those charges are drug influenced. Ever since, you know, 10 years ago, I've never caught another charge. I told him, I said, listen, your honor, you keep putting me on the streets, I'm going to die. Like, I need help. Hoffman was sentenced to the Phoenix house for a year, but did not complete the program. The director kicked me out. Because of that, the judge sentenced Hoffman to seven years in prison. She served 10 months, the judge allowing her to participate in a youth offender boot camp. I had paid everything off. I petitioned the, you know, the courts to get off of probation. He clapped for me and said, you know, you above anybody deserve this. You know, congratulations, Ms. Hoffman. I've taken pictures with him, given him a hug, and he wrote me a handwritten Christmas card telling me he knew I could do it. I finally felt like, you know, the book was closed. You know, your redemption is complete. Within three years, when applying for that exemption to work in case management, her dream job, Hoffman found out that she, like thousands of others, still owes the state $50 a day for the seven years of her original sentence, $127,750. You charged me for a cell that I didn't occupy? I felt so tricked and so fooled. There is no ladder with them that will ever truly allow you to be a second chance anything. There isn't, and they make sure of it. Hoffman's grandmother, Linda, helped pay off what she said was thousands of dollars in other fines and fees. We thought everything was taken care of. I must not understand it right. I've probably got this wrong, but no, I didn't. Hoffman hired an attorney in an attempt to modify her incarceration costs to the 10 months she served. The judge denied the motion, pointing to state law. A court may not modify a legal sentence imposed by it more than 60 days after the imposition. And incarceration costs are based upon the length of the sentence imposed by the court at the time of sentencing. You are imposing something that I can't pay off in a lifetime. So I'm stuck. How is this possible? We think it's unconstitutional. Lisa Foster, co-executive director of the Fines and Fees Justice Center based in Washington, D.C. Florida charges a lot of fines and fees. Says it violates the excessive fines clause. Because it's not proportionate either to the underlying offense or to a person's financial circumstances. In Shelby's case, what happens is she's saddled with over $120,000 of debt to the state of Florida, that is a life sentence. I have a family now, I, I have a daughter, a wonderful husband, I have a home, I have all of these accomplishments that I have worked so hard, so hard to maintain. And to not be given the opportunity to have a realistic, reasonable, obtainable goal to rectify all of that, that is why this is important. Since 2019, Illinois and New Hampshire have repealed their pay-to-stay laws for state prisons. Here in Florida last session, the Fines and Fees Justice Center worked with lawmakers on a bill that would have allowed judges to do an ability-to-pay assessment when imposing fines and fees. It failed. With photojournalist Randy Wright and my team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you. Something to have lived through this, the strongest earth. All right. And that uh, is the end of uh, the story. So Esau is a damn devil, man. You know? Jake do not own any of these, you know, prisons. You have to understand, we don't own these prisons. These, pre these prisons are run, are run by Esau, Edom, and Amalek, Rondon. You understand? For profit. You know? And we are held in there to make money for these other nations. And even when they get out, you see, dude, they still find a woman. You know, what about the countless others that actually found a job and made payments over the years without this information coming to light? And the more the days go on, the more these are heinous crimes is going to come out by Esau. And this is why, too, the other nations are mad and they're going to pelt missiles at this place, man. This place has to go. Esau, Eden rulership has to go. And I'll end it here in the book of James, uh, chapter 2, and uh, verse 6. I'll read both the KJV and the NLT. It says, uh, 
but ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before judgment seats? See, in court, man. So you she already went to court, you know, for the crime of um using the 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 the, the, the drugs or whatever, right? But then they they are dragging her to court again for the fines that um, they say that she owes. And this is the NLT, uh, James chapter twelve verse six. But you dishonor the poor. Isn't it the rich who oppress you and drag you into court? See, and she's being dragged into court long after you know she did, uh, you know the crime. You know, so, hey amen. It's about time you all wake up, realize who you are, and make the necessary decisions to turn to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You understand? Those that would not receive the, the word will, will be blinded and they would not understand why these things are happening unto them. So, Lord, we end this quick lesson with the final elect. And until the next time, Shalom.